goes that way a little ways. I can't see around the corner. And now it goes this way. Let's go to the right. Well, once again, it's nice and cool in here. It's starting to warm up outside. Here's the end of the rat's nest. That's it. Let's go back the other way. Okay, we just came from that way. Let's see if this goes anywhere. It's pink. The wall is. It goes a little ways. Kind of a strange color, isn't it? There's a vein of some sort. Another type of a vein. This one must be a little softer as you can see it's piled up on the ground somewhat. See what I mean about the cross tie marks? Doesn't that look like that to you, Julie? Yeah. Gotta be, huh? There's some miners graffiti number anyway and some load counts up here. Some more on the left here. Number 350. And it looks like the end of the road. <laughs> TW. Those are my initials. I wasn't here in 47. I wasn't born until 56. Well, we're heading back out. I'll pace it out so we know how long it is in here just for the record. See you outside. And we're back out. So that was about 600 feet, that longest part of it. So that's the entrance we were just in on the waste truck pile from it. Julie's headed over to another one over there. Better keep up with her. Okay, just a couple minutes ago we were across the wash at that waste pile. Now I'm standing at the beginning of another one and there's a portal right here with a danger sign. Of course. Stay out and stay alive. Let's go in and see what happens. Wow, it's cold in here. It is getting pretty warm outside though. Watch your head. Oh boy, it's cold. Boy, they made these just short enough to where you can't stand up. This one I don't believe is going to be very long, but maybe we'll find something interesting. Like a mountain lion. couple of two by fours. Not much timber in any of these mines so far that we've seen in this area. It must be pretty solid. Let's 
going to curve to the left here. That was just a little pocket on the right, only went in about three feet. Wasn't even worth swinging the camera for. Here's a junction. It goes to the right pretty good actually. And this is the way we were going and that goes pretty good too. Let's see what the left says. Left says nothing. Okay, let's swing back to the right. Here we go. Right fork. There's some real air conditioning in this one. There's a little pocket straight up. That they took out. Once again, somebody's been marking these veins with this pink ribbon and they're not too far distant past. Takes a little jog to the left. It must be following the rain because it's winding around a little bit. It's drifting back and forth. Slight collapse up here. Or was this a shoot from somewhere? No, it doesn't look like a shoot. A piece of rubber hose, it looks like. An old can. A lot of this gray rock, and then wherever you see one of these collapses, it's like a different, it's like the vein is collapsed. And this could be the end of the road. Yep, that's the end of it. So pretty cool. We'll go back and go out the other way. Take the, take the, this was the right. We'll go out and take the, uh, the left. We came from that way. I paced out 130 paces, so almost 400 feet long. Uh, and we had taken the right, so this is where we were going before we took that right. This is straight in. Let's go this way. Some scraps of lumber laying around. Some wedging. Maybe they had some vent pipe wedged and wired up to the walls. all a light gray color except for once in a while you see a vein of brownish reddish and dark colored stuff
This is just a little 10 footer to the to the side. more lumber hmm curved how do you curve a 2x4 your board bender not to be confused with the board stretcher that you use when you cut it too short More pieces of lumber. Those are real two by fours down there. A the full dimension. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. We've been going this way. That looks like it continues on. And there's a left. Look at the little swab bucket. Yeah. Let's take this quick left. I don't think it goes anywhere. Well, it might have. It doesn't anymore for me. It looks like it might have continued that way. I'd have to lose at least 40 pounds to get through there. Let's see if that swab bucket says, or swab can says anything on it. What's it say? Four to five ears contents, two pounds, six ounces. So it's corn. So it's a corn can, M&S? M&S, yeah. M&S yeah. corn can. There you go, <laughs> using it as a grease swab bucket. All right, let's continue on straight. What have we done? We haven't done anything. We've just gone straight in, right? Mm -hmm. So this looks like the rail that they were making. Uh, they were using a full dimensional 2x4 with cross ties that were notched and then a flat bar, a piece of flat stock steel stuck on top of it for the wear surface now it gets a little shorter here's pieces of this well that was real light that flat stock like 16th inch going a little bit though. Now there's a piece of real uh, rail here. It's getting a little rougher back here. I think that's going to be the end of it. One last piece of 2x4 that they were using for the reel. That's it. Back out we go. We'll see if there's one more down the road. I think there is. We saw one more coming in, so let's go look at that. Okay, we're back to the portal. Well, there were about 700 feet of workings in there total. Both, both of those were about 300 feet long, those those drifts that we followed and they're about the split was about 100 feet in so kind of fun here we are back to the t-dub still got a couple little things to explore here here's a waste pile from this one i think let's go have a look There, I can finally stand up. Oh. Looks 
I could get some moisture in it at some point with all this cracked mud. See here, somebody's been, been either taking some samples to be assayed or just mapping out the vein. That's a dead end straight ahead. There's a grease can, looks like. Let's go back and see if this thing goes to the left in there. Oh, a ladder. <laughs> you gotta have a ladder in a mine eventually, right? Oh boy. That's big fun there. Hmm. I was just kind of kidding about it being big fun. Look like they had a hoist up here. Well, let's go straight ahead for a second here. We have to mull over the ladder situation. Here's something up. Like I said, there's a rat finally. A what? Rat. He ducked under the board to the right. I think you'll see him back there. That's the end of the line anyway. Okay. You'd think you would see more rats in the mines like this, but I think that's the first live one we've actually seen. But there is a lot of crap here. All right, well, let's look at this ladder. You going down, Jenny? Mm. So this first little piece is about six or eight feet, and then it gets pretty steep. Well, then there's another ladder down below that, but it looks like it might be, I don't know, you want to go down there? Well, today we're passing on the ladder. It doesn't really look like it goes to a level, and then the next ladder down looks like it's buried. Looks pretty cool, though. It's just barely in the entrance. Did we already go back this way behind us? Okay. Well, there are those ladders. If you want to go down and check them out. Looks pretty cool. So the attic we were in was just down there. That's the waste pile down there for it. And here's a collar and a shaft. And a ladder, but the ladder doesn't come all the way up here. One more portal across the way here. Let's go look at it. Well, let's take a look at this one. Here's the waste pile where from the one we were just in. And then the shaft is right up there where those fence posts are. And this is just across the road. Oh, this is just a little explosives magazine. That's all. And here is another one. Same type of thing. So that's all that is. That's good. Okay, that's where we were across the, the road there, where the ladders were. Here's another waste pile right here. Let's see if there's a portal in and out. Looks a little skinny getting in there. I'll have to go on a crash diet between now and when I get there. All right, let's try to get in here. Well, actually. It's only about two and a half feet tall here. Just a little ways. Yep, I'm in. pack rats sure love these edits.
Now well, let's go this way a little bit. We're going to take the right. Oh boy. I'm talking about going over a precipice. Let's go straight first. Just so much rat crap in here. It stinks. Plus you gotta go over a bridge that's questionable. Why are mines either so dangerous you feel like you're not gonna come out alive or else boring? Where's the in-between? Like ladders. Ladders are like, a lot of them are either like a 50-50 chance you can make it alive or no ladder. This just looks like a short drift to the left. Yep. Yep. This dead end to the left too? Yeah. Looks like it. I know, I don't know. I mean straight ahead? Well, we better go to the end to be sure, because sometimes they fool you. But not this time. That's it. Oh. Well, we're going back out. Watch your pack. Told you it was a little skinny getting in here. Julie's got to get her four wheel drive working. Well, we went and looked at that one, and it's too small to even squeeze in. So. I guess we're done with this particular area. Well, we're working our way down out of the hills. A lot of mines up there. A lot of roads too. Easy to get turned around. back down to the valley. There's our RV park down there where the RVs are. Well, that's going to conclude our exploration of Douglas Canyon and the mines that are in Douglas Canyon. Uh, we're staying right over there in the trailer park so you can ride right out of the park into all these mountains around here. You can go the other way too. Next time we're going to go up the canyon that's behind Julie. Dunlap. Yep, Dunlap Canyon. Here's looking back at Douglas. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.